We're watching the tropics tonight with tropical storm Aaron forecast to become a hurricane later this week. That's near the uh, African islands Cape Verde right now, uh, but there are some disturbances closer to home that we're keeping a close eye on. We go to chief meteorologist Chris Franklin for the latest on that. What exactly are we talking about here, Chris? A couple of areas that are worth watching. One that is being highlighted in the Gulf, but also being given a 0% chance of development by the Hurricane Center. Basically what it means is they're keeping an eye on it, but not expecting any development. However, some tropical rains are possible along the northern Gulf Coast, including potentially southeast Louisiana. We'll talk more about that in a moment. And beyond is Tropical Storm Aaron. A couple of little waves that have been coming off of Africa. We'll see if those are able to do anything, but certainly long range models are indicating even as Aaron continues westward, we will likely see more of the wave train begin across the tropical Atlantic. But for right now, it is Tropical Storm Aaron. A lot of thunderstorm development around the center, but very dry air around the entirety of the storm. So at the moment and in the near term, probably not going to see any rapid intensification. Now the expectation is that by Wednesday or Thursday becoming a category one hurricane. So our first hurricane of the season and then possibly as we approach the weekend, maybe a category three. We'll take a look at the long term trend based on the upper steering of why this may stay away from the East Coast and why it won't be a threat to the Gulf in a few minutes. All right, Chris, thank you so much.